Hey everybody. Uh, I'm not really sure what this video is going to turn out to be, but I want to make sure I get some video of this tank because I think some changes are going to happen to this tank either today or tomorrow. And I don't know whether or not it's going to be on video or not. I'm having a feeling this is going to be one of those spur of the moment. I just feel like doing it and I'm going to get up and do it. So before that happens, I want to get some stuff on video and discuss what may or may not happen. <laughs> Uh, this tank has been long overdue for some changes. I've been talking about it for a while. Those of you who follow along know that this T-bar cichlid over here uh, is starting to become an issue. You can see the earthworks he's built. Uh, he's uprooting my plants. He's just digging in there like crazy. And more importantly, I have a black ghost knife fish in this tank that lives in that cave system under there that's now even getting buried with sand. So not only is the black ghost running out of room as he gets bigger and bigger, he's running out of room because he's getting his cave system buried by the T-bar. Now, if he tries to come out of the cave system, the T-bar simply attacks him and runs him back in to hiding. I saw a little more of this behavior again yesterday, and it was pretty much the final straw. I've decided that something's got to give, and this T-bar has got to go. So... I didn't want to get rid of him, and that's kind of why he's still in the tank. I've just really been putting off getting rid of this fish because he's a really, really pretty fish. He's really enjoyable to watch, but ultimately he's nothing more than an attractive cichlid, and attractive cichlids are a dime a dozen. Let's face it, you can see pretty cichlids anywhere. The black ghost knife fish is a unique fish. The knife fishes in general are very, very interesting fish in the way they move and their shape and just everything about them is fascinating. So if I had to choose between one or the other, I would certainly rather see the black ghost rather than this T-bar. But at the same time, I've never really been able to bring myself to get rid of this T-bar. So not long ago, one of my viewers, and I apologize because I cannot remember who, I do get a lot of comments every day and it's hard to keep track of who says what. Uh, but somebody did suggest moving the T-bar to the gudgeon tank. And when I first heard this, I just dismissed it outright. I even told the viewer, like, no, that just wouldn't work. These are aggressive fish, and, you know, you can't put two different aggressive fish in the same tank. It would just be nothing but a big fight. And it was suggested to me that I ask someone else who actually has some experience with these fish. Uh, so I asked my friend Dumbunus Marcus, who actually has a purple spotted gudgeon, and he seemed to think that it probably would not be an issue since they are different species of fish. So I've thought about it a little more, and the final straw was the other day I lost one of the two gudgeons, and that was my biggest concern, was when they spawned, which they had done fairly frequently, um, they would get really territorial and aggressive, and that's when I thought I would really run into issues with this T-bar in the same tank. So now that I'm down to one gudgeon, and it has been suggested by someone who has experience with these fish that it probably would be okay... Uh, we're going to go for it. We're going to make an attempt to get the T-bar out of this tank and put it in my gudgeon tank. So when I talk about my gudgeon tank, I am talking about this tank. And this tank has a sand substrate in it rather than that sort of sandy gravel like is in the T-bar tank. So I really think that the T-bar would be able to just dig and dig and dig in here. So one of the things I want to do is I want to make a pile of rocks somewhere. I want to build some sort of cave system in here so that when the T-bar goes in there, he doesn't just start digging randomly. I don't want him digging anywhere near where the filter intakes are, and I've got two of them. I have an internal UV sterilizing filter, and then I have my standard hang on the back uh, filter intake back there. And I don't want to get sand and grit in either one of them. So what I think I'm going to do is in this front corner or off to this side I think I'm going to put some rocks um, which is going to change the feel of this tank um, I deliberately did not put rocks in this tank I just wanted something that was going to look a little different than all my other tanks uh, you can pretty much see when you start looking around the room uh, most of my tanks have lots of rocks lots of woodwork plenty of plants and I just wanted to do something that looked a little different in this tank, and it does. But I honestly, I don't even like the way this tank looks. It's really boring to me. <laughs> it's just kind of flat, and then it's got some plants growing in it. It looks like a field. Um, so I'm not going to be, you know, upset about the fact that I'm going to be putting rocks in here. But I do know that some people liked the fact that I had one tank, at least, that looked a little different than the others. 
Uh, and it still will. I'm not going to load it up with rocks. I'm not going to make it look like my other tanks. But I am going to put something in there to sort of lure the T-bar into creating um, a cave system where I want him to rather than in the back corner where he may very well spit sand at my filter heads and wind up clogging them up. So we're probably going to wind up doing a little bit of that today, maybe putting some rocks in here, maybe even I might have to do two piles of rocks because the gudgeon, and I still don't even see the gudgeon, I'm sure he's in there somewhere, I doubt he jumped out, um, but he normally also comes right up to the glass as soon as I come over here, and I swear I don't see him anywhere at all, this is actually starting to make me scratch my head. Well, this is really puzzling. <laughs> I know he's in there. There's no room for him to have jumped out, even if he was a jumper. So he's probably hiding behind the uh, impeller on the filter. That's the only place that I can't actually see in the tank. And that's pretty much the only place left that he could possibly be. And again, it's just really strange. He's normally right up against the glass whenever I stand here. Um, and that's another reason I'm not really worried about changing this tank up. This is what I see all day long. If I'm not right in front of the tank and he doesn't think he's about to get fed, I just don't even see him. They just are, you know, when I had two of them in here, they would either just hide sort of in the leaves or down on the bottom. And that would be about it. If they saw me walking past, they'd swim up and bang up against the glass. And then when I was done, they'd go back to hiding. And it just basically looks like an empty tank. So the T-bar is going to end up in here. And then we'll play that one by ear and see how that goes. If it doesn't work out, maybe the gudgeon will go back to the store. And I'll keep the T-bar. Because uh, the gudgeon is another one that is pretty of a fish as it is. Just in a superficial sort of sense, it's kind of a boring fish. I don't really get a lot of enjoyment uh, out of the gudgeon. So I'm down to one anyway. I, again, I have my suspicions as to why I lost the other one. Uh, I will shoot a video about that. I've just got a lot on my plate this weekend. Uh, so that's kind of why I'm shooting this video. I just wanted to make sure I got something out there uh, to touch base with everybody and let you know that uh, you know stuff is still going on here in the fish room. I just haven't been shooting video of it lately. So make what you want of all that. I'm not going to make this a video about doing any of that stuff. If I do, I will try to get some on video. If I'm not up for it, I won't. Um, but at some point you are going to be seeing some changes starting to happen in here and it will be between this tank and my T-bar tank. I'm going to try to do another round the world update uh, here pretty soon too. I know those are popular. Uh, I haven't really done anything in the fish room this week so there's not really anything to update. Um, but I can just give a little walk around the room uh, in a video here soon and t uh, catch everybody up to date with what's going on. Uh, this is my crayfish tank. I do still have it. I only had the light turned off so that I didn't get glare in my video across the room. So there you go. Enjoy that for whatever that was. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. That way you won't miss any of the stuff I'm talking about coming up. And look forward to seeing some changes real soon. And maybe we're going to see by the end of the weekend that T-bar swimming around with that gudgeon. And we'll see how that all works out. So thanks for watching this one. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And I will see you real soon on the next one.